Okay, in this short video, we're going to look at importing uh, project information from Primavera P6 into Project Tap Tracker to create an S curve. There's two methods of importing data from uh, my, uh, from Primavera. One is using the SDK, which means that you should have direct access to the Primavera database or via XER files, which is covered in a separate video. So here we have a project, uh, one of the default projects in fact, city centre office building, and we're going to import that. Uh, so going into Project Tracker now, we're going to select the uh, SDK, and that will bring up the dialog. I just put in my password there. This loads up the list of projects uh, in the enterprise system. So I'll select city centre, click on import. That will present me with the baselines available, so I can select up to two baselines. There's only one baseline in this project, so I will only bring in the first baseline, but again in baseline two, if we had a early dates and late dates baselines, for example, we could select uh, a second baseline. So we'll just click on OK. And the SDK is read, and the project information very quickly comes in from uh, Primavera P6. So we have all of our activities uh, in the Gantt chart, for example, on the left hand side, all of our progress and our S curves. In this case, there's only one baseline, which is the uh, purple color. The red is our actual, and the green is our target program. So it's very, very straightforward to import all information, uh, duration, cost, and work from Primavera P6 using the SDK. Thank you for watching this short video.